Last webinar ay pinag-aralan natin ang asexual reproduction in animals. Dito nalaman natin na may mga animals na kayang mag-reproduce with just one parent. Karamihan sa mga animals ay kayang mag-reproduce when two parents are present. Ito ay tinatawag na sexual reproduction. Frogs, chicken, cows, and many other animals reproduce by sexual reproduction. Hmm. Ano kaya ang pinagkaiba ng sexual reproduction sa asexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction takes place when sex cells of two parent animals unite to form a new organism. Ibig sabihin, kailangan ng male animal at female animal. Katulad natin, mayroong ding fertilization na nangyayari kapag nag-unite ang sperm cell at egg cell ng animal. Ang fertilized egg cell ay tinatawag na zygote, which develops na tinatawag naman na embryo. Fertilization in animals may be internal or external. Internal fertilization happens when the male animal releases sperm cells into the body of the female animal to fertilize the egg cell. Nade-develop ang embryo sa katawan ng female animal. O kaya naman, nade-develop ang embryo sa loob ng itlog ng female animal hanggang sa mapisa. Kapag ang female at male animal ay naglabas ng kanilang egg cell at sperm cell sa environment at na-fertilize sa environment, ito ay tinatawag na external fertilization. Ginagawa ito ng frogs at fishes. Animals are born in different ways. Two of these ways are ovipari and vivipari. In ovipari, eggs enclosed in a protective shell are released by the female animal to develop outside her body. Animals that undergo ovipari are called oviparous. These animals develop inside the egg during the incubation period. Birds, snakes, fishes, frogs, turtles, lizards, and insects are oviparous. Isang advantage ng ovipari ay kaya ng ibang animals magproduce ng marami. Kahit may panganib, sigurado na may mabubuhay sa kanila. Pero may iba na konti lang mangitlog katulad ng reptiles at mga ibon. Okay, para madali ang incubation at parental care o pag-aalaga. Isa pang advantage ay ang mga oviparous ay mayroong protective shell or protective membrane upang maiwasan ang pagkamatay ng embryo sa loob ng itlog. In vivipari, the egg does not have a shell or protective membrane and is developed inside the body of the female parent. Animals that undergo vivipari are called viviparous. These animals start as embryos inside the body of their mothers. Dogs, cats, cows, and whales are viviparous. Dahil iisa o iilan lang ang aalagaan ng female animal ng vivipari, Natututukan ng nanay ang pagpapalaki sa mga anak at nabibigyan ng sapat na nutrisyon ang mga ito.